our plant that we'll be dividing. It's Agapanthus africanus, lily of the Nile, although it's not a true Nile resident. It belongs to South Africa, and it's not a true lily. Nevertheless, we'll be able to get four or five divisions out of it. It's a wonderful blue or white flowering plant. So let's put it on the concrete and divide it. This is what a single flower cluster looks like. This is a little too blue, probably photoshopped. This is more their standard color, which is a pale violet. And they all look good in the afternoon shade. Here's the white one. These are standard agapanthus and not dwarf. Here are some basic tools you might need. Saw is really helpful. Loppers are good, especially if you have to cut the can apart to get the plant out. Pulaski is good for digging plants out of the ground and dividing them. Knife, but be very careful. Gloves allow you to handle the plant more aggressively. Pruners, of course. And a pick is very helpful. Well, we come to a problem right away, and that is I can't get the plant out of the can. It's really root bound, which is good. It shows that there's going to be quite a few roots for the divisions, but it also makes things difficult. If you start to stretch the plant and start to tear it back off, there is a plan B, which we'll get to right now. We're going to turn the plant upside down and hit the lip of the pot against the lip of the bench. That should do it. Okay, we're going to hit the lip of the pot against the lip of the bench and it's going to fall out in one motion where we got a little lucky but this usually works with most plants no matter how congested. How you start is up to you but remember agapanthus that are well rooted indeed really congested are very tough so feel free to get tough with them. You're going to have to do a fairly difficult job here in that getting everything separated. But if you loosen up the soil, you'll loosen up the roots. Once you loosen up the roots, you can begin to think about separating and making your divisions. The pick is really helpful here. You don't need to tie, you don't need to hurry the work. You can come back to it over the course of a couple of hours if you want to take a break. I'm hitting the center here to loosen up things and I'll lay the whole thing flat. Okay, here we come back to the work. And what we're gonna find is that most everything is loosened up this first division comes apart easily, just pulls apart. The second time, however, I accidentally break a division where I hadn't meant to. I call this a snap, where you accidentally snap apart a division, and often it doesn't have enough roots on it. See the two spots there? But there's plenty of roots on either side of this division, so we're still good. You'd rather have a point where you actually wanted to separate things. Speaking of which, there's no logical point to separate these two, but there's plenty of root on either side. So just take the saw, cut it right in half, and what you'll notice is it produces a large wound on either side of the cut. But that's okay. You do need to let them callus over overnight. Give them 24 hours before you put them back in the ground. If you put a division with a large wound like this into the ground without a callusing overnight, you, it will turn to mush, I guarantee it. The pruning shears just show how easily you can cut the root to shape if you have to put these into a pot. Great. Hello, well we're back to the agapanthus. It's the day after and they've healed up. So, we want to bury them at about this level, at about that level. Agapanthus like to be congested, they like to be crowded, so don't really divide them unless you want more divisions, plants to give away. And if you plant them in a container, you need really the size of a five gallon bucket. 
Otherwise, try to visit my website, thomasfarleyblog.com, and I invite your questions. Thank you.